LPT request how to comfort a friend after a parent passes away without coming off too cliché. We are both fairly young in our early 20s. So losing a parent must be extremely difficult though I'm sure it's difficult regardless. Not sure how to properly console them without repeating the same I'm sorry to hear that phrase. They've been hearing over and over. Any suggestions for simple gestures I can do that others might have wished were done for them in the grieving period. They're only visiting my area briefly then returning home later to finish up business. Give them company and do whatever they need. Pick up on what they need too. For example if they are hungry and are unable to take care of themselves. Give them food. Do their laundry. Etc. Don't need to keep replying at all to be honest just need to listen and show that you are listening. Can do that through nonverbal cues as well. Provide food and be there. You are gonna do one of three things talk about it. Distract them or just be there. Some people say you should ask what they want. But I don't think I could give a meaningful response if someone asked me that. You know your friend. Listen and observe. A man who lost his infant son mentioned that one of the hardest parts following the death was the fact that no one wanted to talk to him about his son presumably out of politeness. Yet that was what he wanted to talk about the most don't be afraid to talk about your friends. Parent with them. Do you want to talk about it or do you want to be distracted from it? I always ask them to tell me what their parent was like. It lets them organize some of their own feelings and you get to learn about them. The way their parents are explained so much about why your friend is the way they are. Start with I'm sorry for your loss. Then you can ask about their memories of their parent. Bring meals maybe even batch made. For a friend who has suffered loss in the past I've just said nothing I can say will help. Can I offer a hug instead? And you give them the best hug you've ever given anyone. And you don't let go until they do. Please don't act like it didn't happen. Acknowledge it. Don't tell them it's God's plan. For the dad passed when I was in 20s. It sucked and was made worse by several friends not even mentioning it once. One thing to avoid is I understand. You don't. I'm not saying you never lost anyone. I don't have any idea. But everyone experience pain and loss differently. My advice is. Be supportive. Be there as they need it. Listen more than talk. And allow him to be sad and to mourn. It takes time. And yes time heals. But right now they are not at this point. My mum passed away very recently. I'm early 30s. It's nice to share my memories of her to friends and reminisce but not everyone wants to and it can feel invasive to ask. If the conversation steers that direction I found comfort in being asked soft questions what was she like? What music hobbies etc did she enjoy and just generally talking about it without relating to the death? Cause of death, will, probate, inheritance etc etc. Offer specific help, like cooking, inviting them to hang, just being there. Just be there for them, compassionately. I lost my father in my father last year in my early 20s and honestly only thing that helps is time. PPL would tell me that it will get a little better but that it won't be okay and it's true. What I think also helped was my best friend telling me story of his family member who is miserable. Shit his whole life BCS his dad died when he was young and he blames it for everything. Somehow I think it helped. Also I found out my father's friend who got doing pretty fine in life did also lost his father in his very early 20s. I also got big help from all reliable. It I Z what it I Z. 
just offer to help them with tasks or chores they can't do well while they are handling the funeral. Wake paperwork. They'll recognize that you're not trained for this. The right support might be subjective. But your presence is all they need to remind them that life will go on. That they have support. Don't try and cheer them if one of your parents died. How would you like for people to behave? But the elephant in the room is your friend's parents passing. Being caring and compassionate food or a cup of tea is good as they will most likely not be. Thinking about these things. I lost my dad at 8 and mom at 24. I personally just wanted friends to be normal around me but also realized that my road ahead was going to be tough. If anything, try to steer your friend in a positive direction and help with future endeavors. And definitely bring food. Don't bother racking your brain for the perfect thing to say. Just be genuine. Relate something that you liked about the deceased or a happy story about them. Let your friend take the lead on whether they want to talk about their grief or something else. Entirely. Get him out and about. It doesn't have to be fancy. Coffee. Ice cream or a walk in the woods is just fine. Whatever it is. Stick by them. They're well aware that they're terrible company and most people are inclined to avoid depressing people. Your friend will only get back to their old self by having support. Just being there is the main thing. After that it depends on the person. Some want to talk about the person who passed. Some want to put it out of their mind. That will change as they process. Offer hugs as needed. Make sure their basics are covered. Food. Water. Etc. Look up the stages of grief. No need to say much of anything. Be a non-anxious presence and lift their burden in practical ways. Be creative and be present. Feel with them. Don't try to cheer them up but laugh with them when they're ready to laugh on their own. When my best friend's mom died my husband and I came to her house with a bunch of sandwiches for her and her husband. Another day, we brought home made banana nut bread. We just sat there and kept them company. I wanted her to know she was not alone. Later, she asked me to come with her to the funeral home to make arrangements and I did that. She made a slideshow of memories and I had to dig through old photo albums to find pictures of her. Mom from holiday dinners we all shared. Just stop by. Maybe bring food. And hang out a bit. I liked not having to be alone. Just go eat somewhere and let them talk. It's a roller coaster and sometimes two don't want to talk about it all the time. When my dad died it helped that my friends just listened and validated. Also, when he died one of my friends wrote a card for me and it meant a lot. Pop round and help with housework as well. Say something. Anything. I promise it will be appreciated more than the staggering silence that will come from so many. Waiting to say the right thing and end up saying nothing. Went through this myself last year. When my friends lose someone close I come over once a week for about a month sometimes two and it's to go for a walk. Often just around the neighborhood. I ask them to tell me about where they live. Why they picked that area. Why they like it. I never say I understand unless I've had the exact same experience. Mostly I have and I try to relate my feelings about the same experience. As the walks continue, I start to talk about things like what they're doing to enhance their lives mostly diet and exercise. I find this approach has been the most acceptable. Food is always a way to show love and provide comfort. Setting up healthy meals and snacks so your friend doesn't have to think about cooking and cleaning. The mess. I know when I've suffered great loss the last thing I wanted to do was even think about the process. Of eating. Condolences to your friend.